Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. And one of my subscribers asked how you can put a pattern on a shirt. So we're going to try that right now. So let's get started. So I found this uh, picture on Pixabay and I decided that this is the one I was going to use. It was a clean white shirt. And then I went to go to stock photos and I'm looking for a fabric pattern. Now, there's two ways to go about this. Here's a pattern. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'll give it a shot. You can drag this out. And if you do, uh, you can work with it that way and shrink it to whatever size you want. But I don't like this because if I wanted the pattern small like this on the shirt, it would not work for me because then I'd have to keep duplicating, duplicating and, and making a whole bunch of patches. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to delete that. And now I'm going to say File, New. And it, I'm just going to say OK, whatever it's there. I'm going to put this pattern there and then say Document and Clip Canvas. And Clip Canvas gives us the whole, the whole pattern right there to the correct size. I'm going to File, Export. And I'm going to export it as I guess I'll export it as a JPEG. I could do a PNG. PNG is a very large size for this. This one I'm just going to hit a JPEG and a pretty good quality there and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to put it in uh, my tutorials and pattern shirt and I will call it star pattern. And why did I do that? Well, here's why I did that. I could delete this now. I'm done with this. So get rid of that. I'm not even going to save it. So now we're back to the shirt and let's go right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you why I did that. Then we'll do the details later. So the reason I did that is now I can go to layer, new fill layer. And I'm instead of solid, I'm going to put bitmap. And I'm going to look for that star pattern and I'm going to open that. And now I want to make sure this lock is here. The lock keeps it in constraint. And now I can decide what size I think would work. And I kind of think this is a really good size for the type of shirt I'm doing. So I'm done and I click OK. And there you go. There's my pattern now. So for now, I'm going to hide the pattern. Now, here's the hard part, and, and it takes work. But once you do it, you can put other patterns on the shirt, which is really great. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the pieces and split them up. So I am going to take my pen tool, and I'm going to get a close-up. And I'm going to start right on the seam right here. I'm going to go like that. And for this tutorial, like I always tell you before, I will go very quickly. I might even speed this up a little in the video. Uh, you should be much more careful about how you do this. So once we got that sleeve, and once again, I'm not, it's not perfect. I could see things right here. Immediately I see things that have gone wrong a little bit, but I'm not going to try and fix all of this. I'm just going to go back and while the pen tool is selected, I'm going to hit selection. So now that that's selected, I am going to take this photo. I have to make sure it's rasterized, so I'm going to rasterize it first. And then I'm going to do Control or Command J. What you have now is a sleeve. So uh, that's the his right sleeve. So I'm going to put right sleeve. It's our left, but his right. So there's a sleeve, and now I'll hide that. And now what I'll do is do it again. Deselect. Go back to here. And now I'm going to take the other sleeve and do the same exact thing. And once again, select and control command J. 
Okay, so now so now we're going to call this left sleeve. Let's go back to the whole thing. Deselect, Control or Command D. Uh, a couple of things here I need to get done. And again, I won't do it all, but I have to show you some points. You need to do something like this. So you get the idea. I'm trying to take the pieces of the shirt and separate them. And select. Again, not a perfect selection, but I'm not trying to be perfect here. Control Command J, and I'm going to call it Placket. Placket. And deselect that. So now I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to select the rest of the shirt. With the selection brush, it won't be a perfect selection, as I always say. Let's select the shirt. We don't want, well, I'm holding alt. We don't want the pants. We don't want the pants here. We want just the shirt. Okay. Get the inside here just a little bit more and I'm holding alt when I get rid of things like a little more there and a little less there and less there okay close enough so now I'm going to do Control or Command J again. And this is, I'm going to call this the body. Deselect it. I'm going to call it the body. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to uh, grab the fill layer and you have to rasterize the layer so that we can move it around. So then we'll Control or Command J, we're going to duplicate that. We want to keep the original one. Let's actually hide them in the bottom. And so now this one, we want to move that as a clipping mask. If we move it down and over to the body, it's that's part of the body. It's attached to the body. So that works out good. So now we want to take this, another one of these patterns. So we'll duplicate it again. And I am going to put it under the sleeve, except now that it's under the sleeve, we don't want it to be the same. We, we want to kind of move it like so that it's a different position, maybe on a slight angle that way, as opposed to these being this way, that we want that way. And then we'll do it again. We do control or command J. And on this one, we want to Put it on the right sleeve so we bring it up and over to the right and we want to move that one maybe kind of like that and then the one on the placket I'm not even sure if we need the placket one let's do it anyway so here's the one on the placket and we could just put that right into the placket and maybe just turn that a slight amount like it's a little bit off. Okay, we want to hide this guy and we want to do layer merge visible. So now here is the pattern and we are done with that so we can get rid of everything else here except this except to the body. So now it's just one pattern. I'm going to name it pattern. And in fact, I'm going to, I, no, I won't delete them. I'll just group these. I don't even need that one. I will group all this together and hide it completely. So that's, that's not even in the picture as far as we're concerned. All we have now is the pattern and the guy. Okay, so now the next thing is let's take this pattern and multiply it and that shows some of the shadows 
Now, one thing I did discover, if I take this person, I tried to do shadow and highlight and it didn't work. But if I go to a live filter layer and say clarity, and I really bring it up, I can lower it later. You can see where all the uh, creases and wrinkles are. So that's good to have. So now we select the pattern layer and we go to the liquify persona. And now let's get close-ups of areas we need. Now there's something called, let's bring the, let's bring the brush down. I'm taking my bracket a little down. And there's something called freeze. This is liquify freeze. So let's start with the liquify freeze. So let's take that. And what that does is it freezes certain areas so it won't liquefy. So if I paint right here on that seam, and if I paint right here, and if I paint, you see where these creases are? So let's say I paint there and there, those spots and there, those spots will not move when I crease this. So, and of course we want to paint right underneath here like that. And so now once we do that, we click the, the uh, liquify push forward tool. So I could start pushing. So these stars, I'll make it larger. So these stars move around. You see where the crease is? But it won't, it won't fold in here, where the, like it won't go into the shoulder. So if I do a little like that and a little like that and like that, it makes it look much more realistic like different areas are being moved around like that maybe or maybe that way right into it and then this part a little more out like that okay so now we got to get rid of the freeze so this is the thaw tool so now we just paint out the red like that and now make sure all that's out of the way and now we can do here, I'm just trying to see, you see where this line is right here, where that collar is? If we go back to the freeze and lower this, I would like this part to not move like that. And maybe down here also, um, I'd say right here on the crease here, that we don't want that to move. And then we can go back to the push tool and make it larger and start moving things like, so it looks like it's going up a little. And this one maybe that way a little bit more, but it's folding in a little, kind of into that. And I think that's okay for now. Again, I'm doing this very quickly. I would never do it this quickly if I was doing it for real. But you see the difference? Like, look at this. And let's take away all that freeze there. And now the placket part here, which it needs to be a little bit distorted. So what I'll do now is I'm going to freeze outside the placket like that. Should have been doing the bottom too. I wasn't even focusing on the bottom here, but we can get to it in a minute. So close enough here. And now go to the push tool again. And see, I could do stuff like this and it will not move anything where that red is, where I froze it. So it kind of works with this. And if you're kind of careful, you don't really have to do all the freeze. Like I could just, since, since we're doing, I'm, oh, I got a thought now. So let's get rid of this. So since now you get the idea, I'm just going to do some of this without the freeze and just be a little more careful than I'm being, <laughs> of course. Okay, so let's do the push tool again, like something like this right down here. You definitely need this to be a little, just think about, just think about how this would be folded in like that a little bit if it went into a fold and like that. So I'm just very quickly going to do some of this stuff. Like here going even into the placket here a little bit. And let's take here right the, on this line, I'm gonna like kind of bend these a little. 
and a little bit in here where that crease is. And right here, there's some little bit of a crease that way maybe. And we'll do some here and maybe like that. And a little bit of a here where it just gets folded in and there. And again, I'm not trying to be perfect here. You need to focus on this kind of stuff. This collar should have been, I would say, moved that way a little. And that would maybe go around, like, kind of around like that. And I think we're close enough to what we need. So let's just hit apply and look at what we end up with. And there you go. And now it looks much more realistic. You can see where all the folds are. You can see that the sleeves are going in different directions than the uh, than the rest of it. The pocket moves around like that. So I think that's pretty good. So now remember that this is that's the pattern right there, right? But if you ever wanted to do a new one, just remember you still have all the pieces. As long as you've done it carefully, you have all these pieces for next time. So then it's easier to create a pattern once you have all the pieces. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and thank you so much, and have a good day.